Merhaba, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to my friend Wogi Flush, I'm going to be trying some more things from Turkey. Albany Tan Tan... What am I saying? There's some Turkish writing here. I should attempt to read that. Now, cover your ears, Turkish people. This isn't going to be pretty. Totilicicolata cup caramel crap biskin ki. Was that painful? I bet it was. I like the little container it comes in. Well, I liked it until I couldn't open it. Oh no, it's opening. It's opening quite well. Oh, how cool is this packaging? It's like you think you're going to get some milk and you know, you get chocolate. Oh, yummy. So it's a nice smooth milk chocolate on the outside and on the inside of it, let me show you. It's like a plain vanilla biscuit. For some reason, I thought they were gonna be like Maltesers because we've got little round balls here. We've got little round balls here, everyone. <laughs> we do, we have little round balls here that we call Maltesers and they've got like a malt filling. The biscuit inside goes perfectly with the chocolate. They're little chocolate delights. Snagakas Helva. Miskos, last time I tried a big one. Ooh. How good does this one look? Oh, it's divine. So on the inside of it, it's like a sweet peanut candy filling. The peanut candy is very popular in a lot of different countries. I know it's popular in Mexico and I know it's also popular in, um, I don't know, other places. So it's a howl sort of filling in the middle of it. It's like peanut candy, that's the best way to describe it. And on the outside of it, it has a thin wafer biscuit. The wafer biscuit on the outside is light and flaky and the inside of it is super sweet. As you can see, there's also some bits of solid peanut in there. Mixed Nuts Bar, and this one is made by Feza. I think all the countries have their own mixed nuts in their own way, I should know. Oops, it's broken in two, hello. Oh, look at that, it's beautiful and glossy. Look at all those nuts, would you? Oh, it's quite hard. Oh, that's delicious. It's a lot sweeter than I thought it was gonna be. And it's got a beautiful selection of nuts in there. Very sticky, actually. It's kind of like a toffee that's combining all of these nuts together. Really, what else can, I oh, I'm falling on my chair. What else can I tell you about this? It's delicious. These are petty, hang on, there's a price on there. Well, I can't take it off. There's a little gold pool thing here. I've given up with a pool thing, it's not cooperating. This is Petito Aik, and it's made by Etty. How cute does this look? So there's eight of them in a packet, and they're bowls, soup, lip, mini, quick, latte. I wonder what I said. So, oh, oh, cute as. I wasn't expecting them to be individually wrapped like that. How cute is that little panda on the front of it? Don't you just love the look of this? Oh, oh, I love that. I love it. It's so cute I don't feel like eating it. I mean, I will, but how adorable. Mmm. I do like the taste of the panda's face. The chocolate is quite nice and smooth. It's a milk chocolate and on the top of it there you can see it's got a little bit of dark chocolate and also some white chocolate. Now it looks like here that the panda actually holds different things. You can see in this one he's got a little drinking cup and this one, I don't know what that is. It's a flower. All right. I'm sure kids would absolutely love these. Let me know in the comments below which of these products looks appealing to you if you're not from Turkey. And if you are Turkish, let us know what your favorite is. Yulka Bitter, how good does this one look? Ooh, I like the packaging on it, makes it look classy. Gold wrapping. Ooh. Oh. Look at how beautiful and dark that chocolate is. Mmm. Wow. Whoa. 
This is a really rich dark chocolate. It's quite bitter, so I think the dark chocolate lovers would absolutely love this. I think it's divine. And also on the inside, it's got some nuts in here, which I think are pistachios. Uh, well, they're green on the cover, so they've got to be pistachios. Buten and tep. Fistickle. It's bitter chocolate. It's 60% cacao. It'll take me a long time to finish this one because it's super rich and it's absolutely delicious. Etty Combo. There's five a dead chocolate. Uh, you far out. What does that say? Chocolate? Yes. I'm thinking this is saying chocolate biscuits. It's actually amazing how similar a lot of languages are that you can actually recognize what it is. I mean, obviously there's a picture there, uh, but I'm saying without the picture, you could probably even work out what that is. So I'm gonna let you have a look first. Well, oh, oh, they smell so good. Ooh. Mmm. I really love these chocolate coated biscuits. On the outside there, it's like a toasted coconut. And as you can see, it's a milk chocolate and it's got a vanilla biscuit. They're delicious. Thank you so much, Woggy Flush, for sending me all of these amazing treats. Woggy Flush actually lives in Germany, but he found all of these Turkish treats in the supermarket. And it has been so much fun trying all of these Turkish things. Thank you so much, Woggy Flush. Mwah. I appreciate this so much. I've had a lot of fun trying all of these Turkish treats. And if everyone in the comments could also thank Woggy Flush, because without him, this taste test would not have been possible. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. Have a fantastic week, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.